Where the fuck are all my things? Well, um, what's left of it is here on the floor, and the rest is burning out back. And why the fuck is the rest of my shit in boxes? Because you're getting ready to leave. Leave? I ain't going no motherfucking weird, crazy ass motherfucker. Well, I get paid for what I do, you stupid, unacceptable motherfucker. You got all these tracks in this house. And there's only one train at the station who's got a ticket. And it ain't you, nigga. Put your shoes on your feet and leave this house. I'm not going no motherfucking where. Oh, and what makes you think you're not going anywhere? I'm listening. You know good and goddamn well I have nowhere else to fucking go. Mm. You should talk to Satan. He'll take you in. Look, I've tried to be nice to you. Nice to me? Yeah, nigga. Feeding you, giving you a place to stay, and all I get is fucking tortured without a word of thanks. Thanks? You think you deserve fucking thanks? You are so many fucking things. And you don't have to know it anymore. You know, why don't you go find West and Andre? I bet you probably messed both those situations up too, huh? Oh, oh, so you're gonna try to cut me? Because I'm telling you to leave my house? This isn't just your fucking house. Who else's house is it, fuck boy? I fucking hate you! Don't hate me because you're giving your ass out away for free in the bushes. Oh, try me. Try me. Yeah, nigga. See, listen. Don't play with me. Almost made me drop my donut. Child, I will not be afraid to put this right here. Because listen, I am sick and tired. I am done. I've taken all that I can take. And you have sucked the last life out of me. This right here is the most toxic relationship I have ever been in. You, my boy, are the poster child of a typical faggot. You walk around broken, filled with inner pain. Instead of healing yourself, you inflict that pain on everyone around you. Why, just like the rest of the soulless fucking gaze, you throw shade for sport. You never give compliments. And you're carrying your lubed up ass, carrying that stank ass, pessimistic attitude all on your face. You're always the victim. You always think somebody's always doing something to you. Well, newsflash, don't play victim to fucking situations that you created. You know, the only thing that makes you feel good inside is when there's a dick deep in your loose ass cavity. But when you hop off the many dicks, you need to reflect and take responsibility for some of your fucking actions instead of playing victim. And no, I'm not finished. No, see, we're just getting started. Shit's about to get real because you decide that you're gonna throw my HIV status in my face because you were lucky enough to get on prep before the dark cloud of Satan could seep into your blood vessels. But baby, how many times are you gonna get treated for the same STDs? Mmm. You are the definition of dysfunction, honey. Let's take a fucking field trip, bitch. Go to the bathroom. Look in the mirror, Six. Look, goddammit! Look, I know it's fucking hard because you know deep down you are so fucking ugly. Look, flaws and all, they're there, baby boy. Dear drama queen, we get it. You want attention. So shut the fuck up and stop overreacting. Sincerely. The gaze with common sense. See, listen, baby boy, I, I know that I have my problems. But I own my shit. And on behalf of all the rainbow boys that are trying to fix themselves out there, we are tired of your smell. We are tired of your self-hating ass. 
you femme shame, you fat shame, all because you think in that 32 waist of yours and that cute face makes you pretty. Baby, all you are is a spineless faggot. And don't think because I'm calling you a faggot, that means you're gay. Oh no, baby, you can deep throw all the dicks you want. The definition of a faggot is a broken piece of shit that burns every bridge around him, uses everyone around them. I need gas money. Can I have a place to stay? Can you feed me? Just because you're gay doesn't mean you're not an adult. You have responsibility. And I want you to understand that I do love you, brother. But I have to choose to love myself more now. I will not sit here and pacify you. You will get your shit and get the fuck out of my house. You fix yourself. I'll fucking hit you. I hate you with all my fucking soul. Good. Akuna Matata, motherfucker. Go find someone else to play with. At another motherfucking address. around me. I'm so tired. We don't deserve all this bad karma. Maybe, maybe I did something. <laughs> what happened? She was attacked. Where? All my life, the only thing I've tried to do is protect my children. Why? Why doesn't God like us? Me, my children. God, why doesn't he care for us? either, apparently. Life is never easy, Miss Laura. Oh, I have to disagree with you there. Thirty years ago, I had West. West? Yeah. And I didn't know how he was going to come out. His father was black. My aunties told me it was a mistake because they didn't know how dark he was going to be. I prayed and prayed to the Lord that he would make his complexion like mine so that he wouldn't suffer. And when he came out, it was the imitation of life. He was lily white. 
Has your son been to prison? It's the Ramada Inn. And now my daughter. Where was God in all this? I've been catching hell since Natalie Cole recorded that song. <laughs> there is a God, Miss Laura. Where, baby? Rose is pregnant. What? She didn't tell me that. Well, she probably didn't have the chance to, but yes, ma'am. She's with child. Really? I just really hope that the beating wasn't that bad. Protection, protection, protection. What good does it do? This isn't over, Miss Laura. Sometimes God gives you a journey so that you can rebuild yourself. Do you rebuild yourself on the beat? You don't think Rose told me? You know, maybe Joe is right. God just doesn't like us. Want coffee? What the hell are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same thing. I, my friend was attacked. Your friend? Rose? Yes. How the hell do you know my niece? We live in the world, Greg. Not on a plantation. Her mother is my friend. Oh, Laura, God damn it, Redmond! Who's trying to take everything from me? You should really come with batteries. I am not fucking around with you here! <laughs> You, you, first you, try, you try to force me to be something I am not ready to be, and I didn't even pretend you give a shit about my family. For your information, you ass, Rose and I went to school together. We've been friends since we were kids. I didn't know anything about you or your family. <laughs> right, you expect me to buy that bullshit. I buy whatever you want. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, like you was telling me the truth about my wife? Huh? Did you lie about that? Oh, big whoop de doo Since you're all about the truth, Answer this. Did you molest West? What? That's what he told my brother. Oh, fuck your brother. Fuck you. Did you molest him or not? Look, I know you are not going to play judge and jury to me. You still haven't answered the question, sir. Are you a pedophile or not? Are you out of your mind? Yes. Did you molest him or not? Keep your voice down. Careful. Your fangs are showing. You need to leave here right now before I do something I regret. You already have. There is a cut after all. I guess my brother was right about you. That was a long time ago. To a child, Craig! Don't do that shit anymore! No! You just want to fuck Farah in a dress. Let's face it, Greg. You like me because I have a little something special. You sure still ain't brains. We'll see about that. What's up? Wow, I've never seen you look like this before. Um, you look good, man. This may be the first time I don't curse you out, but um, thank you for telling me that. Give Rose my condolences, okay? She good? She's in surgery. But I've got to get back. To be? To living. <laughs> 